Face hand. Okay, we're going to use the entire space to do this. Shh. I'm going to explain the rules and then we're going to be able to ask questions. Uh, we're going to use the entire space to do this. One of you is going to be the vampire Dracula. And only one of you is. Okay? The vampire Dracula is going to also go around and shake everybody's hand as if they were at a fancy dinner party with their fancy sort of dinner party voices. And they are going to have a super secret handshake. Okay, so normally you go up to people, you meet them, you shake their hands, right? Dracula is going to go up to people, and he's going to select a victim, or she, or they. They are going to select a victim, and they are going to use a super secret handshake in order to bite their victim. So instead of shaking the hand like normal, you're just going to scratch the inside of the wrist. Uh, can I have a, can I use you as a demonstration? Yeah. So, so I'm going to shake, shake hands like this. And I'm just going to tickle the inside of the wrist like this. Yeah? If I'm Dracula. If you're not Dracula, thank you so much. If I'm not Dracula, then I'm not going to use Dracula's super secret handshake because that would be confusing, and then there would be more than one vampire. Okay? The other rule that's really important is that if you've played this game before or a variation of this game before, you'll know that you are then, when you have that super secret handshake, you are dying and bleeding out. Right? But you don't want to fall over dead, because then Dracula would be found, right? If you fell over dead next to Dracula, everybody in the village that we're creating here would know who Dracula was, right? So instead, you're going to shake two more people's hands, and then you're going to come up and find me. Okay? I will be up here while everyone else is shaking hands. When you have shaken two more people's hands, you're going to come up to me, and you're going to shake the thunder stick, which makes a fun sound like this. Yeah, it is a pretty cool sound. When you read the thunder stick, you are going to use your biggest theater voice, and you're going to read off one of these cards that has one of the characters from Dracula on it, so we get familiar with the different characters that are in Dracula. Okay? Uh, when you shake the thunder stick, you read the card. That's the end of one round. Okay? If you are Dracula, you can only bite one person around. And this is because if you started just taking out all of the villagers super fast, then the villagers would know who you were, and they would be like, this is an epidemic, we need to stop this, this is somebody being, being really uh, really hurting, hurting us, mass murdering, right? So instead of doing that, you can only bite, if you're Dracula, you can only bite one person around. So let's go over the rules really quick. How many people's hands do you shake after you were bitten by Dracula? Two. 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 Great. How many people can Dracula bite in one round? Oh. One. When is the round over? When the person shakes the thunder stick. Person the stick. Shakes the thunder stick. That's yeah, and reads off the card. Great. So everybody close your eyes. Put your heads down. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. If you feel a tap, that means you are Dracula. All right. Don't move. No peeking. If you felt the tap, then you are Dracula. Okay? Ready? Okay, so everybody stand up. Dracula has been chosen. Oh, boy! 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 Oh
I'm going to give Van Helsing oh. this lovely steak. Uh, it is a replica of the pop that we use to stake people in the show because it retracts into itself, right? Now, remind me for just a second, what happens if you, if you uh, stake a vampire through the heart? They die. They die, great. Okay. What happens if you stake a normal human through the heart? They still die. They, they still die, die. <laughs> right? So, the moral of the story is, don't stake your friends through the heart. This is just a prop. Don't even like pretend to use it to attack people, okay? Yeah. I'm trusting you to be responsible. No, you can't. Don't give it to Gavin. 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 No. So, so we've got we've got Ben Helsing. Ben Helsing has the state, uh, and Ben Helsing is going to be able to use certain charms, certain things, to be able to track down and figure out who Dracula is. So, remind me again, what are some of Dracula's weaknesses? Yes. Holy water. Holy water. water. Great. Uh, yes, in the back. The cross. The cross? Where did I put the cross? the other one? Great. Okay, the cross. You can be the cross. And then one more, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, we already said holy water, yeah. Yep. Garlic. garlic? I didn't bring it's any garlic to us. Also, we don't use garlic. Uh, yeah. Well, like, we already said the running water, but I think that's close to holy water. So if there was, like, another one, I guess I would say sunlight. You would say sunlight? Great. That is exactly what it is. It is sunlight. Great. You are the sun. Okay, I did so, Let me explain how this next bit works. So, Van Helsing is going to walk around, uh, and the charms are going to walk around. They're going to shake people's hands like normal. Dracula, if you are Dracula, you cannot bite Van Helsing or any of the charms. They are immune to your bite until, when at the end of the round, when the thunder stick is shaken, Van Helsing then has a chance to use up one of the charms to guess who Dracula is. So the way that that would work is pretend that I'm Van Helsing, okay? The charms are immune until I say, okay, I'm going to guess that you are Dracula. Are you Dracula? I'm gonna use up my sunlight charm. I'm gonna use up my sunlight charm to guess that you are Dracula. Are you Dracula? No. Great, so then that charm gets used up that person is no longer immune, and we continue to play the game like normal. Any questions? I got a Wait, didn't yes. he just die? Yeah. What was that? Can anyone else use the charm or is it gone? It's just gone. Yeah. And so you've only got three guesses, so make sure you use them wisely. Shh. Guys. Guys. We have a couple of questions left. Yep. Uh, does the steak have multiple uses? Nope, the stake is just to show that that person is Van Helsing and they shouldn't be bitten by Dracula. Yep, it's not for any other use other than to show that it's Van Helsing. All right, last question. Yep. Wait, so what happens if you get, gave the stake to Dracula? Oh, but I didn't. Oh, okay, that's great. Because um, I knew who Dracula knows. was. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Oh, hey, continue oh, no. to meet at the Benson Dinner Party. You can be a ghost. So, so you're not going to give away who Dracula is. Haunting. So, Andrew, let him know you're haunting. Trip to Transylvania with Count Dracula. Cool. Lucy, you're uh, Why don't you use two up, your, up two of your charms this round? Use two? Yep, use two. Make two guesses. I will use the cross. Okay. I want to make eye contact. What? I will use the cross. Cameron, it was on. I'm going to die around Cameron this time. Cameron! 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 Michaela. 
Thank you. Awesome. Okay, continue to mingle. Dracula is still among you. Who was Dracula? Van Helsing. No, 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 no